Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just want to show you my my project car here, '64 Chevrolet. The rims in the ground right here, but I uh, tore it down completely, like frame everything, tore it all down, sandblasted it. Uh, let me open the hood up for you, home. Put you down for a second, homies. There she is. Kept the little straight six, 230. Had it rebuilt. Uh, put a mild cam in it. A uh, bigger distributor. And I had, it went from a single barrel to a two barrel carburetor. So it was too high. It was hitting my hood and I wasn't cutting my hood. So I got me a snorkel, a little small air cleaner, a small spacer at the bottom to my carburetor and my intake. I had to bring it to the machine shop and they had to shave off um, let's see, three eighths of an inch. They had to shave off three eighths of an inch and retap the screws for my bolts and stuff. But uh, yeah, I think it looks looking pretty good. Hopefully crank it up next week. I'm running all my power wires and my other wires. Got my new radiator, champion radiator. But she looks pretty good. I mean, I tore her down. I tore her down to the ball joints, bushings, everything. Ripped them all down. I still got some work doing the body now. But it's going to the body shop for that. I had to paint this white part right here, right there. I had to paint that because it was under the hood. It's a little dirty, freaking bugs. But it's aqua pearl. You can't really see it. I got some videos of it though. And I had that piece right here in the corner right here. That piece there, I had it powder coated because it looked pretty rough. The whole grill was taken off, cleaned up. All the cups for the, can't see, there's no light. All the cups have been cleaned up behind the headlights. But underneath, yeah, I kept the drum brakes for now. I'm not gonna change all that up right now. I'm just trying to get it on the road. Yeah, it's in pretty decent shape right there. Now the back, I had to change out these panels here. I just got to tack weld them in. But I had to change those panels out. They're rotting, just like that right there. I got to change that out. So before I put those panels in, I'm going to change that out. And I got me a new hood, new, new trunk. But... Yeah, that's how the back end looked. And you can see my, that's my old panels that I pulled out. Yeah, they're pretty nasty. But yeah, that's my, that's my baby right here. Seats right here. That's the original seats in the car. So, they're in pretty good shape. That was the bottom. This is the back. Near the. Can't really see. My bad. But, yeah, that's my little project. So, y'all, please follow. Follow me. Like and share. Leave a comment. Any suggestions besides switching the motor to a 350 crate? I don't want to hear all that bull crap. I'm keeping the original 230. I like the little engine. Besides the way gas prices are right now, I might need to switch it down to a little four cylinder. <laughs> Just joking. Anyways, yeah, tell me what y'all think. I got a lot of work into it though. A lot of money so far. But in my eyes, she's beautiful.
Well, thank y'all for checking it out. Follow me, like, share, subscribe, the usual. Hey, what's up, everybody? Appreciate you checking out my channel, signing in. Don't go nowhere because you're going to see a couple of transformations of this car. I've uh, been having this car for 15 years. 64 Chevrolet Biscayne. Yeah, it's not a two-door. It's a four-door. It don't matter. People have these little niches about two doors and they worship them. But this car is my all-time favorite car. I wanted it my whole life. I got it. Paid 2000 for it. Now, this is all the before. This is all how it looked before I started working on it. I have having it for a while. And uh ain't really had time to put much money into it. Or I had the money to put into it, really. But uh it does have four taillights in the back. I got an Impala trunk. I like the six taillights. But this is the before and after, before picture. And I got a bunch of before and after pictures, so stay tuned. Now, this picture right here is a... Uh, this is under my hood. I, uh, the top one before, bottoms af after, obviously. Um, I took this whole car apart. This whole front cap came off. I'm talking about everything. Fenders, separated, lower control arms, upper control arms, everything. Changed all the ball joints. I took most of all the small parts to work. In the afternoons when I got off, I sandblasted everything, painted it. So the top view of it. I'm, uh, this is my first time doing this. I'm really proud of it. I mean, I love this car. So I got my radiator, radiator in uh, yesterday. I installed it. Um, got a couple of modifications I got to do with that. But uh, yeah, I got I got everything put in. Uh, I got my brakes all done. Changed all the brakes. Uh, just stayed with the uh, drum setup because, you know, it's going to cost too much to try to transfer it over to a disc setup and i already don't want to mess with that uh this is my engine now before at the bottom after top i mean that engine that engine bay is wrecked i mean it looks terrible it looked terrible it was uh i mean just disgusting and from what it looks like now it looks like brand new i'm uh my wife's uncle rebuilt the engine for me he, uh, he put a mild cam in it. I asked him to give me all the specs for it. I haven't gotten it yet, but <clears throat> I want to see what he uh, upgraded. He got a bigger distributor. Uh, I, we deleted the uh, fuel pump with the electric fuel pump. I got all the chrome accessories, the side plates, and the valve covers. I got that on the internet. Uh, he put a bigger carburetor. Had a little bitty uh, single carburetor in there, which is super small. So, and uh, I clean up all my fuel lines. I clean them all out and spray them out and stuff and got them clean. Uh, I also got a few parts. I got them uh, powder coated. I see my, my intake right there on the side. It uh, It's powder coated. My cover at the bottom is powder coated. The... Uh, alternator i put a chrome alternator cover i already had because this is my second car my first car was a 62 i did all the same thing to it but uh i, I didn't really love the 62 I, I, 64 is my thing i was ever since childhood but um yeah this this is this is my deal here now this is right here is a hood my hood latch right here uh this is a detailed view of how how i took everything apart and cleaned it up and painted it, put it together you know every screw in this car I sandblasted every screw, uh, anodized them, painted them. Um, it basically it's brand new, every single part, inside and out. Yeah, uh, this is the front of it now. How to get a new hood because the hood uh, had little rust holes through the cross members from the factory. Had this little black putty stuff that create that made rust holes, and had rust holes through my hood and the front lip was rusty. And I was going to change just the emblem on my front lip, but uh, all the little screw tabs broke off. So I bought a whole new chrome lip right there you see in the front with the emblem on it. Uh, the front bumper came off, everything. I took the bumper to pieces, sandblasted the inside of the bumper, painted it. Uh, the whole grill came off, all the buckets, 
I mean, you about to see a picture of it with uh, the whole front cap off. This is the only bad spot I had on here is where the taillights are at. They're they're pretty rusted, pretty bad. So I cut them out and I'm replacing them with these from uh, Classic Industries. They got pretty good prices and they're pretty quick on quick to deliver. This is how this is what I cut out. So it was pretty bad. Underside, underside, the top of course is before. It was pretty bad. I pressure washed it, um, got the buffer, uh, knocked all the rough rust off and make sure there were no holes, no holes under there at all. Um, super, super sturdy floorboards. So uh, I bought, it's called uh, POR15, Paint Over Rust 15. I mean, it's, it's expensive, like $60 a quart, but uh, it does the job. Yeah, this is the front end all apart. Um, I went to tour it all apart and it was, it was kind of hard to see it that way because I love this car. So it was, I wasn't certain if I was ever going to get it, get it back together or not. Or like I said, this is my first time and I saved all the screws and where they went and rolled them down in bags and had everything separated. And I was hoping I'd be able to put it back together correctly and afraid it would stay that way forever. Uh, this is... I got these rims for $200. Uh, bought them from a buddy of mine. They came off a low rider car and the tires didn't need to be changed. The rims are a little scuffed up and see all the, it was gold plated and the rust came through. And this is after right here. I actually put it in a sandblaster. I taped all the chrome off except the spokes and I put it in a sandblaster and I blasted it, cleaned it up, primed it, and I painted the color of my car is going to be. So it's just an aqua pearl color um i got a video here soon this is before and after of the rims they're just temporary part-time just to just to have something in my car until i get it get a little extra put some new set of wheels on it and they're gonna be 13s i like old school low rider i'm not gonna mess up the rod so i'm gonna keep it old school and get, of course i'm gonna get airbags hopefully before it uh, hits the road but uh yeah that's a lot of work they don't hold up oh well i'll just either chunk them or sell them this is the color my car is going to be it's an aqua pearl and this is the bottom part below the grill the grill mounts to it and it's exposed you can see it and my brother-in-law is painting my car for me but i had to paint this because i had to put my front cap back together so i painted this myself i had to I took it to work sandblasted it uh primed it uh, sprayed my base my base white coat on there and then I sprayed that uh that, that can I just saw a while ago and this is a video of it completed you can see the when the sun hits it, it has a real pretty color and that's the color of my interior right there too is the uh that uh aqua color and there's my interior that's just a, a view from the back seat I got a new uh glove box key holder too for that there already uh they got to take the windshield out change the windshield i got a crack on that change the windshield out paint the dashboard probably the same go back to that that aqua color there but um floor pans are solid everything's solid in this car i got a bunch of stuff i had ordered i mean new tail light lenses bezels uh i got the the, the aluminum cap that goes over the tail lights and on the trunk i got all that and I got new uh, antennas. I got a good bit. So uh, if y'all y'all interested, follow me. I'll be posting more videos of this. Uh, I'll be posting videos soon with the car how it looks now, and uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna come up pretty good. I mean, I got the hood on. I got everything. I got my radiator in. And hopefully, we'll be cranking it up soon. So thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll be checking you later.